What's special about Grand Rapids Christian Schools is that we have a wonderful community here of families who are committed to the Lord and to Christian education. And they care about all the students that are here that walk through the doors, not just their own child. When you step into the school, just the way everything's laid out and the space of the building gives you kind of a comforting feeling almost. Everybody here seems to want to get to know you as a person and become your friend. And I think that's what makes the community really special. I love kindergartners. I love five and six year olds. I love the energy that they bring to the classroom. Every day they walk in with a smile on their face and they're excited to work and learn in kindergarten. They're hilarious and I love to have fun and tell jokes with my kids and we just try to make the whole day like a big adventure. Kids come into kindergarten at a lot of different levels. Some are coming in knowing all of their letters and sounds and reading, and some come in knowing no letters and sounds. So we have to take them and bring them forward. I love that we have access to the resources and the people or support that the kids need. Um, so even in Spanish immersion, we have people that work with small groups if they need extra support and boost in like literacy or math, and this school works really hard to meet each kid's needs. We are always building um, a strong community together. And it's always a conversation that we're having with the peers in the classroom and myself of what is the right way to act and what is expected of us in the classroom. And if we disobey or take a wrong choice, how would we um, remedy that? If a student can do something or can do something well, they're going to do it. And if they can't or they're not doing it or they're doing something that's not expected of them, then there's something going on there that we just need to figure out. I just try and be really consistent with them and make sure they know that I'm not upset with them, but that I need them to act a certain way in the classroom so that we can learn or so that we can be safe. It's a privilege to teach young children because in the words I say and in the materials I bring to my classroom, I'm pointing them to who Christ is. Throughout the day, who God is, His character, um, and His people are continuously woven into the curriculum. When we think about every subject, we think about how it relates to God as the Creator and His hope for us as His caretakers. In math, we talk about a God of order and how God has put things in our world for us to investigate and to learn about and he sets up the world with order. There's all these connections that we can see in creation and um, I just try and look for those things and just point them out to my kids. And like, como podemos ver el poder de Dios? Like how can we see like the power of God in, in this? My goal in being the librarian is to find ways to extend learning and to connect with maybe different aspects of their learning. Almost everything we do in computer class and technology class is based on their curriculum in their classroom. If they're studying planets, then we play games with the idea of an orbit. We can run around in, in a solar system. Um, if we're studying letters, we can jump for the letter J, we can leap for the letter L, and um, we just work together so that I know what they're teaching and I try to incorporate that into my plans as well. Our curriculum for Spanish, some of it overlaps with what the um, kindergarteners are learning. The cool thing is just being able to partner with the homeroom teacher to to, um, work with the kids in whatever needs that they may have just in the classroom. We like to um, take the basic skills that they have learned in preschool and then kind of hone their skills. I also like to introduce new things that they've never done before, maybe clay, so that they get this wide array of materials to work with and experiment with. At the beginning of the year, it's lots of that just real basic fine motor skill, um, learning to find the letters on the keyboard. We do it all through different activities and games. So it's not, it doesn't feel like work to them. They're having fun doing it. We're trying to teach them the difference between a singing voice, a talking voice, a whispering voice, a calling voice. So we do a lot with different voices. I'm also working a lot with beat in kindergarten and we're finding the beat in any song we sing. And can we find it in a silly place on our, you know, on our belly button or on our head or on our nose? They delight in, you know, calling out, let's do it this way. It's a really good way to make that fun and to reinforce what the steady beat is. 
One of the things that I love about the Spanish Immersion Program is that we, we automatically draw um, a diverse mindset of families. Overall, there's this acceptance of what learning another language means. It's similar to a regular like English kindergarten classroom, but it just takes a little bit more time because the kids don't know exactly what I'm saying all the time, so we just focus on like the sounds and the visuals and connecting those together. Our whole curriculum is really um, good at supporting all kinds of people in the books that we read, so every race and color and type of child is represented throughout the year in the curriculum. At kindergarten, uh, diversity is in everything that we do. We are always lear learning how to work and learn as a group and celebrating the individual differences of every child. We talk about how we are all the same as we are God's children and we talk about how we are all different and how God gives us gifts that help one another and we're all part of the body and we all need each other. It doesn't matter that if you don't like to eat spaghetti and it doesn't matter like if you like to play soccer instead of like dance, like those things are just things that we like. And I just want that to be one of the main ideas that my students like feel and understand. So as they grow into a society that has different views about diversity and I just want them to know that like them themselves are special. We're working with a diverse group of learners and doing many different um, skill-related activities to help those kids grow. Technology is everywhere these days, right? So, unfortunately, most of us have never learned how to use it responsibly or been taught to use it responsibly. They're learning about the different media that they're exposed to and how to digest that. We work on all of our different communication aspects of a language, so writing and reading, speaking and listening. We are working on phonemic awareness skills. We work on um, comprehension. We work on decoding, and we're cr putting that all together to create a reader and a writer. We teach the love of literature and the love of story and so we listen to a lot of stories. We tell a lot of stories to each other. And we enjoy reading. These kids love looking at books and finding these words and stretching things out. My hope and prayer is that when kids leave here, they are excited readers, they are avid readers. Um, they really want to spend time either with a book or a tablet, it doesn't matter. Um, but they're excited about learning and reading. My biggest um, goal for the students in kindergarten, especially since this is probably their first encounter with Spanish, is just to have a great time experiencing the language, um, participating in the classroom, and just overall having a lot of fun with language. My job is to teach them that moving is fun. That's the building block of, of what they want to do here so that they will have an active lifestyle for the rest of their life. My goals are for all my children to enjoy their time in art, to try new things, to not be afraid of um, getting messy or failing even. Sometimes our failures in art will teach us a new way to do something that might be more successful later on. When you know a different language, it opens up so many doors and opportunities to you about making new friends or knowing new people in your community or even around the world. I just want kids to understand what different music is, to be able to evaluate it and to value music. Um, I think our community really does and I want them to have that goal and that understanding too. My job as a teacher is to get them enthusiastic about all of everything that we're doing in the classroom so that when we get to the end of the day, they say, oh, it was such a good day. And I say, good, because kindergarten's the best place there is.